Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. In this video, we're going to learn or describe the preparation of alkene through dehydration of alcohol and dehydrohalogenation of haloalkene. Next, we're going to outline the mechanism. But actually, mechanism ni miss nak miss will teach you once we finish all twelve point two. And then we're going to justify the major product form using the Seidel rule and predict the major product of the elimination reaction. Okay, so let's look on your notes on page. 12 eh ah uh, page 12 so this is actually the preparation of alkene so how do we apa ni produce our alkene ni sendirilah so dia adalah berdasarkan our Seidel rule so what is actually Seidel rule okey dia kata in an elimination reaction alkene with a greater number of alkyl attached to carbon carbon double bond is the major and the stable product Okay, so kita tengok kalau kita kata ada major ni maknanya kita ada major dengan minor product and then we have to determine lah which one is which. So, we're going to determine using the Seidel rule. So, kita tengok pada carbon-carbon double bond kita. Okay, first one ni we don't have any alkyl group. Okay, yang second one ni I only have one. Okay, the third one ni I have two alkyl group. Kita nampak two carbon attached to it. The third one ni, uh, the fourth one actually ada empat carbon and last one ada four carbon. So, lagi banyak alkyl group attached to your carbon-carbon double bond. So, it is your major product lah. Okay, so kena tengok pada carbon-carbon, our carbon-carbon double bond. Okay, so let's look for the example terus pada method dia. Okay, number one, dehydration of alcohol. So, what does it mean by the star tu? Maksudnya, kita akan belajar mechanism. Yang for method number two, we don't have to learn mechanism. But, after all, we're going to learn at the end of 12.2 nanti. Okay, so dehydration of alcohol adalah loss of H2O. Kita akan remove OH from one carbon and then we're going to remove H from the carbon next to the carbon that contain OH lah. Ataupun jiran-jiran uh, COH si ni. Okay, so let's look pada example number one. So, we're going to remove OH here. Lepas tu, kita akan remove another hydrogen. So, which hydrogen we're going to choose is um, is actually the same. Ha, semua ni adalah sama sebab semua ni adalah primary hydrogen. Okay, so we're just going to um, apa tu, write down again. Carbon ada dua. Okay. Lepas tu, kita tengok we're going to remove OH tu. So, kita takkan memang ada tiga bond sahaja. But then, this is alkene. Maknanya ada satu double bond. So, And then we have byproduct kita. Tapi byproduct tu is not compulsory for you to write. Tapi nak tulis pun tak ada masalah. Okay, so that's for example A. Let's look example B. So example B, carbon OH kita di tengah-tengah. Okay, tapi ni miss nak label class of carbon dengan hydrogen. Okay, so hydrogen which one I'm going to remove. Tak kisah mana-mana sebab sama sahajalah dua-dua adalah primary. So tapi kali ni miss nak tulis yang untuk my left hand side pula. Okay, and then remember we're going to remove H2O. So, H yang ini kita kena write down lah sebab we're not going to remove this tree. Ha, nanti jadi H3O pula tapi kita nak loss of H2O. So, hydrogen at right hand side ni kena tulis. Okay, so sekarang ni carbon kita ada 3 bond. Bila kita letak double bond, cukup dah setiap satu carbon we have 4 bond plus H2O by product. Tak wajib. Okay, question C. Okay, yang ini lain sikit. Okay, first what I'm going to do adalah I'm going to write down the class of each carbon. Okay, kelas tu kita tengoklah berapa banyak carbon attached to it. Okay, first I'm going to remove OH. Okay. Um, tapi dalam kes ni, hydrogen ada different class. Ada primary dengan secondary. So, different class. So, it means that we have different product. Okay. So, first kalau miss nak tulis, kalau miss remove carbon from the second, kalau remove hydrogen, sorry, from my secondary carbon. So, my, my double bond will be in the middle lah. Okay, tapi ni baru satu. Okay, yang ini from secondary right now I'm going to remove from my primary. Okay, so if I remove from my primary carbon, ah, tapi dia mestilah carbon yang next to OH eh, yang jauh sekali tu tak nak sebab dia bukan jiran. Kita nak yang berjiran sahaja. Okay, so sekarang ni I'm just going to copy paste it here. Misal like remove yang oh apa ni hydrogen from my primary hydrogen yang paling hujung sekali ni. Okay, so I'm going to put my double bond here. So, here we have two different product. So, sekarang ni we have to justify lah which one is major, which one is minor. So, based on which rule, kita akan tengok pada Seidel rule. So, kita nak 
alkin with a greater number of alka. So first one ni kita tengok kita ada um, carbon-carbon double bond ada attached pada two alkyl group. Carbon-carbon yang ini ada satu je alkyl group attached to it. Okay. So if you be unsure kita um, nak buat yang macam ni lah kita nak buat yang lukis macam cis trans tu supaya nampak carbon tu attached tu ada berapa. Okay. So, ni CH2CH3. Lepas tu, dia attach pada hidrogen. Yang ini, hidrogen sahaja. So, as we can see, kat sini, dua alkyl group, satu alkyl group. So, ni lagi clear lah bagi nampak. So, which one is the major? Okay, the major one is the first one ni lah. This is the major product and this one is the minor product. So, ini adalah kalau kita tengok, again, major minor berdasarkan number of alkyl. Tapi, kalau kamu rasa susah nak tengok, so, sebenarnya senang. Dia ada hint ada, ada pun trick dia. Okay, kalau kamu masih ingat di alkin kita belajar okay. um, stability tertiary more stable than secondary more stable from primary di hydrogen pun the same concept kalau kita remove hydrogen tu kita prefer tertiary lagi than secondary then barulah primary ok so dalam kes ni adalah secondary dengan primary which one major which one minor so secondary major primary minor ok so question D ok kita tengok lah yang ini miss nak buat yang berdasarkan yang ni yang shortcut punya Remember, each carbon um, kena state dia punya uh, apa ni, uh, classification. Okay. So, sekarang ni kita remove OH. Remove hydrogen tu mestilah from carbon next to it. So, maknanya dia punya jiran. So, it's either secondary ataupun primary. So, first miss nak buat kalau miss remove from my secondary dulu. So, bila kita remove from secondary, okay, remember yang lain-lain tu kena tulislah what is left we have to write down. Okay, but then carbon tak cukup 4 bond. So, kita tahu. Lagi pun ni ada preparation of alkin tambah satu double bond here. Okay, tu dah buat secondary. Kalau kita remove yang primary pula, we have, we're going to have another product. Okay, so remember which one yang kena remove. Okay, cukupkan. Okay, tiga bond, cukupkan dengan empat bond. So that we're going to prepare alkene. So, yang secondary yang jadi major. Sebab dalam kes ni compare secondary dengan primary. So, yang ni miss copy paste je lah. Okay. So, bila secondary ada, secondary tu remove hydrogen from secondary major. Yang remove from our primary akan jadi minor. So, ni major product. Ini minor product. Okay. So, question E, you should try yourself. Okay. So, let's look for example F. Okay. F ni adalah cyclopentane. Eh, silap pula. Okay. Determine the class of carbon. So, setiap satu ni adalah secondary carbon. So, dia attach pada two carbon kan. Okay. But then, remember that carbon have four bond. So, apa yang tak nampak tu is actually hydrogen. Tapi, untuk skeletal, no hydrogen is shown. Okay. So, maknanya satu kita akan remove H. Okay. Kalau yang ini miss buat setiap satu ni ada hydrogen kan. Uh -huh. So, remember sebenarnya setiap carbon ada four bond. Sekarang ni kita nak remove OH dengan H. Okay. So, miss nak pilih this one lah. Okay. So, OH dengan H. Mestilah H uh, next to carbon attach to COH lah. So, mana-mana sama sahaja. Sebab semua ni adalah secondary carbon. Kalau ada different class baru ada major minor. Okay, so what I'm going to do adalah kita punya cyclopentane. Okay, OH dengan H ni kan yang kita remove. So, dekat sini yang akan ada kita punya double bond. So, minor product plus H2O. Okay, so lagi pun bila kita tengok. Okay, carbon kita bila dah remove H2O ni. Setiap satu carbon ni baru ada tiga bond sahaja. So, that's why kita letak kita punya double bond to make it. Sampai 4 bond So maknanya dah stabil So question G and H You should try it yourself For the dehydration of alcohol Kita akan remove OH dengan H Yang H tu mestilah next to The carbon that contain OH Dan kita ada major minor Berdasarkan class of carbon Ataupun hydrogen Okay so now let's look for number 2 Tapi tadi number 1 Dehydration of alcohol Maknanya buang H2O Dehydrohalogenation Buang H dengan buang halogen So halogen dalam kes ni BBr ataupun Cl So that's why dia ada loss of HBr Ataupun HCl Okay so dia macam the same concept juga Okay so what we're going to remove Adalah 1 Kita akan remove uh, Apa tu 
um, halogen from our carbon next kita akan buang halo hydrogen yang ini mesti lah dia punya neighbor lah next to the carbon that contain uh, halogen Okay, so uh, masih lagi the same concept tertiary lagi stabil dari secondary sebagai primary. Okay, tapi the hydration tadi we only have two um the condition kan. Yang ini dia banyak sikit. Okay, tapi yang ini tadi mis lupa nak tekan kan. So heat ni is actually the condition, the first one condition. So that's why dalam arrow tu mis tulis condition tu di bawah. Itu ni is actually our catalyst. So that's why mis letak atas arrow. Lepas tu koh ni kita nyari ejen tapi ni dia banyak sikit Kalau dehydration H2SO4 dengan heat sahaja Ataupun kita buat uh, triangle Okay so let's look for the case of dehydrohalogenation of haloalkin Satu kita akan buang halogen Satu kita akan buang hydrogen next to it Okay tapi but then we look for the class of carbon ni And hydrogen uh, We only have primary So sama je lah mana-mana satu kamu buang pun Tapi ni miss nak buang hydrogen belah kanan lah Okay, so what we have here, jangan lupa apa yang kita buangkan, HCl. Lepas tak cukup, kita akan letak double bond. Kat mana kita dah buang atom tu, situ kita letak double bond. So, ikut kamu lah nak letak plus HCl. Boleh, tak nak tulis pun, it's fine. Okay, for example B, you try yourself. Tapi question C, let's look here. Okay, so kalau kamu masih ingat, kalau untuk carbon, we mesti ada four bond. So, maknanya dekat sini tak cukup satu bond. So, what we have here adalah, mesti nak tulis lah hydrogen tu. Nanti kamu boleh nampak Okay, sebab nanti nak buang hidrogen juga kan Okay, first ni je mis tulis Okay But then when we look Hidrogen ni ada pada different class Ada pada secondary Ada pada tertiary Okay, so kita kena pilih lah which one Which one is major Which one is minor Tapi first mis tulis sajalah Okay, kalau mis remove pada yang tertiary hidrogen tu Okay, so kat mana mis remove Itu yang mis letak double bond mis Okay, another one adalah pada yang secondary. Again, mana kita remove kita punya um, H2O ataupun HX tu. Kat situ lah kita add double bond. X tu is your halogen lah. Okay, metal tu masih ada je. Memang biarkan saja di situ. Yang mana buang HCl tu yang kita letak double bond. Remember, tertiary lagi stabil pada secondary. And secondary is more stable than primary. So, mana yang kita buang pada tertiary hydrogen tu, itu will be our major. Yang secondary tu akan jadi minor product. By product tak wajib untuk kamu tulis. Okay, question D, try yourself. So, that is actually the preparation of alkene. Okay, preparation we're going to remove. Sebenarnya kita remove atom. So, please add type of reaction is actually elimination reaction.